Hi, welcome back to The Frugal Life with Mercedes. Um, I just want to say in advance, sorry if there's any loud noises. It's a really nice day here in Virginia, and I have the windows open, so real life. Um, I just wanted to say, if you guys have a hard time hearing me, let me know down in the comments, and I will try to remember to close the windows before I film the next video. Um, today, I am making meatloaf. I've actually gotten quite a few requests to see my meatloaf recipe, and I have to tell you, it's nothing special. Um, I grew up eating meatloaf, which I'm sure most people did, and um, I really just kind of make it the way my mom made it, but I do some modifications just to my to my personal liking, and it's, um, it's cheap, it's a uh, crowd pleaser, and there are a few variations on how I make it depending upon who's going to eat it and what ingredients I have. Now, I usually use, um, I use, I'm using breadcrumbs today because I happen to have them, but I don't always have breadcrumbs. I've used crackers, um, I've used cereal, I've used um, day-old bread. Like I've taken bread from the freezer and then crunched it up with my food processor. There's so many different ways that you can do it. I've also made meatloaf with venison, with beef, with ground chicken, with ground turkey. I've made it with a combination of them. My personal favorite is ground beef. Um, I'm not a big meat eater, but when I do, I like to have beef personally. Today, I just am happening to use ground turkey. If you guys saw my newest um, food pantry haul, um, I volunteered at a food pantry, if you guys didn't know, for anyone that's new to my channel, and I was actually given 30 pounds of ground turkey. Now, I gave some to a neighbor and some to um, my mom, and I kept some for myself, and even though I'm not a huge ground turkey person, we, my husband and I will eat it, plus I make food for a lot of other people, um, so it's going to get utilized. Um, today I am using three pounds of ground turkey, and this is to feed nine people, and let's see what else. That's about it, but I've also made, I've made meatloaf with much more than three pounds. I've made it with half a pound. There, you know, we're not inventing the wheel here. Um, but I do get a lot of requests on my meatloaf recipe, so I'm gonna show you guys um, the basic recipe that I almost always use, and then I will tell you guys any variations that I sometimes use. Okay, so these are the ingredients that I use all the time. Um, just regular ketchup. I am not brand loyal. If you guys um, have been watching me for a while, you know that I am not brand loyal. I have this 24 ounce um, Hunt's ketchup, and this is just what I happen to have on hand. I'm pretty sure I got it for free. I am using some Hunt's Worcestershire sauce. Again, the brand doesn't matter to me. Um, Prego breadcrumbs, Italian style. Um, any kind of... Um, breadcrumb type thing that you want to use would be fine. Um, my husband just happens to like the Progresso and he actually bought those. Then I always use at least one packet of onion soup mix. This is the Dollar Tree brand. And then I like to use um, bouillon. Um, this is just powdered bouillon. Um, instead of using the, with the cubes, you have to add water so that it breaks down versus this is just Se dried seasoning and it says one packet equals one cube to make two cups of savory and this really elevates the meatloaf in my opinion then I am using eggs I will probably use three or four eggs I use a lot of eggs in my meatloaf I've been told that that's a lot here is the ground beef um this is three pounds it's all well it's ground turkey sorry it's all thawed and mushed and all that and then in here this is some frozen onion from the dumpster, and this is some frozen peppers from the dumpster. I put them in these little containers so that they're ready for individual meals that I'm going to be making. Now, sometimes what I will do, instead of using ketchup, I will use barbecue sauce, or I will use some barbecue sauce and some 
um, ketchup. It just gives it a different flavor. There's a lot of people in my family when I make meatloaf, they, like for my extended family, some of them like a little bit of a kick. So I call that my cowboy meatloaf, my cowboy meatloaf. And honestly, all I do is in place of ketchup or alongside ketchup, I use barbecue sauce. Doesn't have to be spicy. I've used really sweet barbecue sauce and it is amazing. Um, and then if I have them, you know the little, um, hold on, I'll just turn this camera around. There we go. So um, do you know the little crispies? They're like the little French's onions that you put on a um, green bean casserole for um, Thanksgiving. What I will do is if I have them or, yeah, if I, if I have them um, or if I get them for free or something like that, what I will do is I will put those in the meatloaf and sprinkle them on top and I call that my cowboy meatloaf and that's a hit too um, but I don't always have those and sometimes if I don't have them I still just use the barbecue sauce um, this would be a great alternative there's you know if you really like spice you could put jalapenos in your meatloaf um, you could um, use beans as a filler. I've put beans in my meatloaf before and people couldn't even tell that it was in there. Um, my husband is Jewish, which I talk about a lot, and his dad liked his meatloaf with hard boiled eggs in it. So what his, what would happen is they'd make the meatloaf and then they would push a hard boiled egg through, throughout. And then when you would slice into it, you'd have a slice of hard boiled egg. Um, I've never made it that way, but that's the way my father-in-law liked it. Um, and I guess that's the way his mother made it um, in the 70s. So I don't know if that's necessarily a Jewish thing or a 1970s thing, or they, he grew up, my father-in-law grew up in New York. So maybe it's a Jewish 1970s New York thing. I'm really not sure, but my father-in-law liked it that way. So, like I said, we're not inventing the wheel, but you don't have to just have plain meatloaf. You can totally jazz it up. Oh, you know what I've used instead of breadcrumbs? I've used chips. One time, my husband really wanted meatloaf, and if you guys have been watching this channel, I don't go to the store unless I absolutely need to. And we had some chips at the bottom of a bag. I think it was um, Doritos. And oh my goodness, that meatloaf was amazing. So you could potentially save the little bits from bags of chips and put them in your freezer so they don't go stale. And it's really tasty. So I already cracked the eggs into a cup. And this is three eggs. That's what I'm going to use this time. Then I'm going to put in the peppers and I let them defrost a little while, but they're not completely defrosted and that's okay. You just want them defrosted enough that you can stir them into the meatloaf. And that is some onion. And then I already have my bouillon. There we go. We got that open and then my onion soup mix. And you could use more onion soup mix if you want. Um, depending upon size, how big of a meatloaf that you're making, and also like your personal taste. Um, then Worcestershire. Now, as far as Worcestershire, ketchup, and breadcrumbs, I don't measure. I never do. So I'm sorry in advance. Um, I just go by what looks good to me. So, and I use a lot. I'm very liberal with the sauces. That looks about good. Very liberal with the ketchup too. Come on. There we go. See? That's about what I do. So I'm going to get off here. I'm going to stir it. And then I'm going to show you guys the finished product. Okay. This is it all stirred up. And then here is a greased pan. I think this is a 9 by 13. It's greased up and I am going to transfer, transfer it into the baking dish. Here's the meatloaf all in the pan. As you can see, I don't really make it a loaf. I just make it like this. This seems to work. And then my mom always put ketchup on top and so that is what I do. And that 
everyone, is my meatloaf recipe. Um, let me know in the comments down below how you guys make your meatloaf. This is how I make mine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cook it um, at 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes, depending, because it is kind of thin. And then I will show you guys the finished product. This is the finished product. I think it looks pretty good. I have it cooling off. This is for... Um, for something that I'm going to tomorrow and there will be a bunch of us like I said there will be about nine people eating this and we're gonna want some leftovers it smells incredible the color is a bit off but that's because I used ground turkey um, it's gonna look a little different depending upon what kind of meat that you use um, but this is my meatloaf recipe and it's pretty easy and again I'm really curious to see uh, well to hear what you guys use in your meatloaf. So thank you so much for joining me and please consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any video requests, put them down below. I also have an Instagram, The Frugal Life with Mercedes. Um, follow me over there. I usually post pictures of my hauls there first before I get them onto YouTube. And until next time, guys, bye.